Hi, we're happy today, right? Oh, oh, you. Why did you drop that? It was an accident. Wait a minute. It, you know how hard it was to get those? Shh. No, we're happy in this video. Oh, hi, we're happy. We were happy, but then you always have to ruin our happiness. I'm trying to. We're happy now. Hi guys. We're happy. Hi. So this is cold. We're having cold pizza. Because <laughs> we're too lazy to clean it, uh, warm it up. Yeah. So. Well, we get out of breath easily. We have. What is this? That's a garlic knot. It looks like the breast cancer thing. Yes, garlic knots. Follow my Twitter, at Nikocado Avocado. And if you do, I might just follow you back. Oh. It's good. You're faking it. <laughs> no, the flavor is good. It's just stale, but it's good. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Oh, wow. The good stuff? Try this pasta. This was my favorite in my video. We have Alfredo Marinara Carbonara. And this one I've never heard of before. It's called Primavera. That means spring. There's mushrooms, tomatoes, spinach. It tastes very, like, creamy, and it has a good flavor. So I want you to try this. That was my favorite thing. Second favorite. Oh, go ahead. No. So this is called Primavera. It means spring in Spanish. Yeah. Oh, look at that. No wonder I kept not remembering the words a different language. <laughs> I'm very bad with languages. Oh, this is good. I know. It's like mushroom. I, I know it has like a truffle flavor because I compared it to all of the four other pastas and that was my favorite. The carbonara is really good, good. Yeah. Mmm. Oh, I'm disgusting. Yeah, you are. I don't care. I'm using my shirt. <laughs> I have to wash it. Mm. Not by hand, you just throw it in the dish. Uh, uh, I can't talk. Mm -hmm. Nick, are you okay? No. I was having a big freak out right before this video, wasn't I? Very bad. I'm still shaking. Very bad. <sighs> if I ever pass away, it's not from the diet, it's from my stress. But he stresses himself out. He does it to okay. himself. What I was stressed about, Orlin. What? Was I have very good reason to be stressed. I'm not stressing about it. We should be. What do you think the average person would be upset by that? A little bit. Yeah. Not like you though. But is the average person me? No. What about the average person who's like me? They're probably medicated. What? I'm actually gonna start doing a meditation. Yeah. That's something. No, you know, I used you to, teach used it. to tell them when I first met Orlin. I was a yoga teacher. He was a yoga teacher. Oh, you would love this. And I was too. making the good money. I was starting, you know, thirty dollars an hour to teach how to meditate. <laughs> how to be quiet and don't talk and sit. It was great. <laughs> how to sit, close your eyes, think of nice things, thirty dollars, please. It was uh, I love I You're love, love this. This is teacher. cheese. Feta cheese, spinach. <gasps> is this the spinach one? The spinach <gasps> feta cheese. Oh, I love spinach pizza. Mm. Very, very. Let me give you another. Oh. Mm. It's cold. It was very good warm. Mm. We're too out of breath for that. Mm. I don't feel like taking everything back to the room. Yeah. This was mm. one of the best things when everything was hot. <laughs> Mm. Isn't cold pizza a thing in the U.S. though? Is the heart okay? On my heart's fine. I just feel anxiety from everything that happened just before I turn on the camera. Baby, I... What? <laughs> I don't know. Is it me? It's totally you. But but you saw. Did, that, did I, I saw. say anything wrong? No. But you know off camera, it's like you know I'm freaking out. Yeah. I probably looked like I wrote that calmly. Like, you know, what could you do? You know, what could you do? Right? Honey, you need medication. We spent hours talking about the same thing. Over and over and over and over and over. I really need to try meditation though. Like, like I was saying, that's what he would do. <laughs> I can't talk English right now. For crazy. That's, that's what baby. He... <laughs> I am so stupid. That's what he used to do, okay? Before I met him. And for me, I used to be into be I I had a rule with no phone. Oh, we're gonna start that rule. No phone in the bedroom. Right before bed, I like to open up my Twitter. I like to open up Fox News, CNN, ABC, one, two, three. 
and I, for some reason, right before bed, I gotta see what happened today. What happened that day around the world? Did it affect me? No. Should you be aware? Yes, but to a degree. I think people are so, including me, are so sucked into knowing what everyone's doing around every world, in every state, in every country, at every time, and every day. Every day, I have to know what someone did in a different country. Who passed this law? Who had this? And, like, I understand. We you get obsessed with world news. I'm not the only one. I am not the only one. People become so hooked on it because it's like something to... But then you have no time for developing your skills. You have no time for your relationships. You never have time for a relationship. You have no time for cleaning your house. You just sit and look at, you know, CNN on Fox News all day. And it's like, <gasps> this happened. Oh, she said this and he said, he tweeted this. Oh, wait, the, the, uh, the, uh, uh. And that just adds to my anxiety. So I'm starting a rule starting tomorrow. Because <laughs> it's already too late. Starting tomorrow. Okay, it is currently midnight, you guys. I'm so mad at these people. Clear. I don't look at the news. I'm starting tomorrow because it's already midnight. This is midnight. This is my last day of a bad schedule. I'm setting my alarm for 6 a.m. I'm waking up whether I like it or not. I want to wake up at 6 a.m. every day. I feel so much better. I get more done. I'm, I'm less sluggish. I also need to get back on my treadmill. I say this all the time. I feel like those people out there who say, okay, day one, try to start for a change. I'm getting healthy. I'm losing weight. And then, you know, two days later. Me? Oh, no. Yes, you. <laughs> Hi. Okay, you guys, we're doing a weight loss. All right, day one. And then two days later. Okay, day one's on Thursday. Pizza. <laughs> like, that's what I feel like. I keep saying, like, I want to wake up early. I want to have a good bedtime. I want to get good rest. I want to go on the treadmill. I want to get things done while the sun is up. I hate being alive when the sun's down. It adds to my insanity. It really does. So, um, t today is the final day. Final, final day, whether I like it or not. The alarm's going off at 6. It's currently midnight. I don't care how lack of sleep it is. I will have coffee, whatever. I need to get through it. I need to do the treadmill. I need to have nice breakfast. I need, I need to start eating some fruit for breakfast again. Berries, at least. Oh, those berries. I want more of those berries. You know those berries? We got to get more of those berries. <sighs> You're a difficult creature. <laughs> okay, so that's that one. Which one was better? The Primavera? Primavera. You ate it. All of it. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> you have one there? No, this is carbonara. Oh. I'll Try eat that too. Try the carbonara. Too. Now it's good. No? No. I ate all of second. Good. Bah. Oh, wait. It's, oh. It's so hard to be a vegan around you. Stop it. He's trolling. What? You know you don't believe it. You know it's not. Orlin! What? No, you know. What? They age really well. Oh, see, he's trolling. No, I'm not. Let's see. Shh. They look great. <laughs> okay, he's trolling. No. See, Orla and I, um, we don't regret our past and what we've learned, but we do, we have learned through our experiences and just being observant when watching it. We are omnivores, eating a lot of plants and fruits and vegetables is good. Most people don't eat enough, but doesn't mean you should eat only it. We're frugivores. Shh, that's so gross. Whoa. Shut up. Stop. What are you doing? What? Uh, this is not, this is, this is supposed to be just real. <laughs> you lived off bananas for five years. Orlin, shut up. What does that have to do with anything of what you learn now? So clearly you We're just talking here. about people with low IQs that literally do the same thing over and over. They have... <coughs> I'm smart. <laughs> you were literally obsessing about the same thing all day today. Excuse you didn't me. Do excuse anything. me. Excuse you. You didn't do anything. Excuse me. What? What I was obsessing about was actually very... Actually, you obsessed about the same thing yesterday, too. No, I didn't. Yeah, no, did. I didn't. No, I didn't. No. This is something that came up today. Today. You're thinking of two days ago. You skipped yesterday in your head. Orlin, I have every right to be upset about what I'm upset about right now. So I, I am not able to talk about it. I can consult my counsel about it, but um, I has been working with YouTube to figure out some stuff, okay? And um, I wanna tell you so bad, but we don't wanna give this person attention. 
he's gonna love it. And you know, I, we're waiting for the perfect moment, you know, just, knowledge is power, but oh boy, are people so weird. And I'm just like, ew, what is wrong with people? Yeah, but we have this in the bag, though. <sighs> Shh, all I'm, but for you to be like, oh, you're just crazy, you're upset, I have everybody to be upset. But don't sit here and do all this trolling, like veganism is good. You know that we need to have at least some type of animal product, and you know it's true. You, we clearly have enough animal products. We're talking about when we're healthy. We're not talking about now. Okay. <sighs> I'm not having anxiety. Honey? Can you pass me that tomato sauce? Do I just try to breathe more heavy? Is this believable? Oh, oh. <gasps> I'm having anxiety. You breathe heavily normally. It is very <sighs> believable. They know that you breathe heavily. What? That is just mean. What do you need? A potato? There's no potatoes. Sauce. Tomato. Okay. Oh, you said tomato sauce. My cheeks are tingling. That's how you know. My. Am I blowing up like a fish? Don't look down that my eyes are up here. <laughs> Sorry. And my I feel my cheeks tingling right now. That's how I know I'm like That's so high blood pressure. Ma really? Am I having high am I having high blood pressure right now? I'm sure you are. No, be serious. Stop with your comments. What? Am I is that a Hey Siri, what are the symptoms of high blood pressure? Common symptoms of essential hypertension include headaches, dizziness, chest pain. Accumulation of fluid under the skin and back pain, aches, soreness, or <laughs> discomfort. Okay, I'm having none of those. What I'm having is tingles in my cheeks and my fingers. It feels like tingle, 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 tingle. Like before tingle. you go to stroke. You're gonna give me you're gonna make me upset. I have to want a stroke symptom. <sighs> well, hey Siri, what are the symptoms of a stroke? Common symptoms of unspecified type of cerebral artery occlusion with cerebral infarction include dizziness, arm weakness, general feeling, memory disturbance, and headaches. Have a few of those. No, I don't. It's anxiety. She's just not telling me. Oh, did we ask for the, the, the symptoms of anxiety? Did I already do that? No, we... Oh, that's what it is. Hey, Siri, what are the symptoms of anxiety? How many guys do this? you just like, hey, Siri... What are the symptoms of anxiety? This is what you do in your free time. You ask like... One moment. Should... What is she doing? Going to the library? to read an answer. It's displayed on your iPhone. I didn't ask the percentage. Hey Siri, what are the symptoms of anxiety? Question mark. Shh. I'm having high blood pressure. I'm just okay. going to show you a photo. Excuse me. All these riots. I can't even... That would sound really bad. Oh. No! No! Oh my god. That's New York City. Wow. What? You hitting what? That's just wrong. But we can't get political on this. I don't think anybody wants them. Well, no, some people do want them to be hit. But I don't know. This doesn't... Oh. I need to have. Inhale. I need. To, yes, please direct me. Tell me what to do. Put up a fat. Inhale, exhale, then what? No. This whole world's falling apart. Our marriage is falling apart. My body's falling apart. Yeah, let me turn on my. My YouTube channel's falling apart. Everyone thinks I'm an actor. Let me turn on my um, organic hippie yoga teacher. Bye. I'm having anxiety. Inhale. Oh. Exhale. Inhale. Big Buddha belly. Exhale. <laughs> Shush! My belly is already big. <laughs> why is you know, Why can't I have a small belly? You discriminatory. <laughs> What's wrong with my okay, size? I, What's I wrong have, with my size? I Tell me. A, give but, me a little belly, would you? I have a hard, hard, hard time enough, hard time, okay, hard, hard enough different. time sitting in the car. Can't even sit in economy seat. I have to buy for a fly first class, business class now. So I'm sitting in the airplane seats. Give me a small belly for this little meditation. It make me feel a lot better in the head to say that I'm skinny. Go. Inhale positivity and 
exhale all of your negativity. Focus on a single point on your forehead. This is the Ashra Chakra, your third eye. Feel the divinity gathering up on your forehead. Forget about all the voices in your head. I don't have voices? That's rude. <laughs> like he's implying that I'm like crazy. This is, no, I don't think people are paying me $30 for this. Oh. If I'm out of breath, it's because I had to get up and change the battery. They know. You don't have to explain uh. yourself to them. They already know these things. <sighs> what is this? I'm just gonna start eating. That's um, ranch. Mm. Try this. This here would be garlic butter. Mm -hmm. This one's very good. This is mango habanero. I love mangoes. This one, I don't like you don't like buffalo either, so mm -hmm. let's not bother with that one. Okay, Avali pizzas. This one's my favorite. Well, ex oh, excuse me, was my favorite. I don't know how it tastes now that it's all cold. <sighs> oh, I want to eat. I kind of neglected this in my show because it was so far away. Look, this is chicken made with lots of cheese. It looks so sad. Look at that. That's a chicken. It's not. It looks like a flatbread. Nope, that's just hardened cheese mm. and chickens. Buck buck. Oh, that's good. I'm being serious right now. I would like to get into meditation. By myself. Why well, you do like kirtan? It's like singing meditation. You just sing happy songs to yourself? I love cheese. I love cheese. <laughs> um. I like Krishna Govinda. Krishna Govinda. It's a good, it's a good one. I think the society, again, I'm just speaking about what I just saw, very, very high blood pressure inducing when I watch this stuff on the news. I, and I watch it right before bed and then I can't sleep. Because I feel, I feel, I feel for everybody. I'm a very sensitive person. And, um, anyways, I just, I feel like people don't do what I'm just talking about. People do not meditate. People do not take time to be at peace in the midst of chaos. In a chaotic world, people don't take that time to learn how to be at peace at one with themselves. They don't. And a lot of people attend church or religion or mosques or um, temples to do that, a form of that. And I mean, I went to, ch I grew up in the Catholic church. I went to Catholic schools. I was never at peace, but <laughs> I was never at peace. <laughs> so, you know, sometimes you have to look outside that too. Like, I don't even know something like yoga or meditation that you're not going to learn it. Well, I think... I think prayer time is a form of meditation, well, but well, maybe it won't work because the way you see prayer is different than the way you see meditation. It's a different intent. I don't know. I think people use prayer to speak to um, their creator. Okay, let's not make this about religion, but I'm just saying that's what it is. I think, you know, ask for blessings, ask to protect people, ask to protect yourself, give you answers, guidance, direction. You speak to your creator. I think meditation is more about speaking to yourself. Isn't that the difference between prayer and meditation? Am I smart or am I dumb? Some people meditate religiously too. Depends on what type of person you are. <sighs> Anyways, I just need to do something. <laughs> you guys, I really need to do something. Yoga's, the main purpose of yoga is meditation. Even when you do the asanas, the yoga poses. Which are hard. The whole point about doing them is so you can focus in the position and stop thinking about so much stuff so you can clear your mind. That workout yoga, have you seen the workout yogas? It's called like P90X. <clears throat> it's like so hard. You feel, it's mm. constant body muscle workout. Like the end of a, one of those P90X yogas, I feel so sore. Remember when I taught you yoga? Well, I gave you a class once. Yeah, you taught me to sit and close my eyes. Yeah, but I, I also... Um, That's I real yoga. Into, I put you into a, hands, uh, into a headstand. Yeah, but I feel like I see. I, I think a lot of people, like you're saying, are using yoga as a as a vehicle for yoga losing weight. Does getting, not help you lose weight. The, it does not. And that's not what it's for either. You don't burn many calories. And you think the people who invented this like downward dog warrior, downward dog, like over and over and over till you're so sore and you burn a million calories. No, that's not what the purpose. You will of yoga burn is. out. You will snap a hamstring. You will have a lot of issues if you go into yoga to lose weight. You go into yoga to meditate takes a lot of practice, years of practice. 
if you just go in it with the P90X mentality, you're gonna be in a lot of pain. Like I was, like you should only do yoga if you're really into the whole meditation aspect. Did you eat all that crazy bread? Maybe. Did you eat all the, all the chicken? I'm fatter than you know. I did do a mukbang too. Oh, we have all these on here. I like this. You can try it. Cool. It was a lot of, um, so, it was so saucy. Are they bones? This one's good. Yeah, they all have bones. No. You don't do the bones. No, I don't. Um, ooh, that sauce is empty. Got it all lined somewhere. Would you say draw the line? Mm-hmm. So if you were to date another person, what kind of lines would you be drawing from the get-go? Hmm. Don't be a YouTuber. <laughs> oh. Yeah, me too. <laughs> but you're not really well, I guess you can lie. Mm. You do it to get back at me. Wow, you use a million actors. You do it to get back at me. Look who's talking. <laughs> I know. <coughs> I think I would make sure that I'm with someone who is healthy. A maid. Very service oriented. Mm. Oh, oh. Are you saying that I just like to lay there? Likes to serve. I need to be at peace. I need to teach everybody how to do See, I want to use my platform for good. I want to teach people how to improve their lives. You know, people come to YouTube to escape their crazy lives, right? That's why I don't like talking about politics or the news. I never do. Rarely. Unless it's something very major. I'm like, okay, give it my thoughts out there. But let you know that I'm aware. And if you're watching me and you're affected, I'm sorry. You know, type of thing. But I don't like to talk about it over and over and over. Um, I guess I've talked about the Bud Light issue a lot. Because it does affect, like, well, then, yeah, yes. I mean, I guess it's one of my big exceptions here. I've been talking about that a lot over the past couple months. But, um, yeah, people are going to watch my videos in, like, 10 years and be like, what is he talking about? A Bud Light issue? What? <laughs> what is he going to You know? Or you think they'll get it? Anyways, I would like to teach people how to, like, improve their lives by meditating, being at peace. Because I can't tell people to have good, better lives, be perfect. They need money for that. I'm like, I can't just hand every single person money. I wish I could. I can't just give everyone the job they wanted. I can't give anyone a better life. Like, your lives will always suck. My life, everyone's lives will suck. <clears throat> but what I can teach you is how to feel happier in your sucky life. <laughs> that sounds awful. But you know what I mean? Like, you know, we all have the crap. Look at my life. It's so much crap. And I have never... I fail to try to learn how to be at peace with my chaotic life. I just show you the chaos nonstop. And I feel like if I can learn how to do that, mm. if I can learn, if I can learn how to do that, I would love to share it with you guys. Cause I feel like a lot of people, they watch me because they relate to me. Maybe not to the scale of me, but they, in some ways they do. <laughs> Why didn't you do yoga before? Because I thought it was all about like pose, money, prada. Yeah. No, it was so hard. It was like a workout. Kombucha. It was all about burning a million calories. That's why I never did it. I don't like. I got. Oh, sorry. I talked too much. Go ahead. I'm not really too much into the yoga community. And, like, I had a lot of issues. People, like, there was a lot of fakeness in that community. I'm not gonna lie. Like, you have to put it on real thick as a teacher in general. But, like, off, like, after you're done teaching, some of them just keep that whole fake personality. <laughs> I just want Oh, like, it. Uh, uh. Yes, I'm not into the whole namaste thing. So you're saying when namaste it's time for yoga that. time... It's yoga time. You can be an elevated character version representation of whatever you're trying to achieve but you're trying you're based off the teachings of like swami vishnu and devananda and so stuff. you can be a little a little a little, a little, fake, a little fake yeah for the purpose of it I mean, I but then that. when you leave you're saying you go back to being yourself but then some people try to like keep that same 
And those are usually the most Image. miserable, angry people I've ever met. You've met, you met my teacher. <laughs> you met, yeah. No. I met some of them, yeah, I may. Yeah, miserable, bitter people. It's just, I don't know why, putting on that fake personality f for so long just eats away at your happiness. <laughs> it's just, I remember explosive, angry. I know. Yeah. I know. Now thinking back and looking back. Those people are the worst. Like, I can't. <laughs> All those non-violent communication people. Ooh. Orlando, you're giving me anxiety, guys. <laughs> oh, no. Ah, those people. <sighs> Anyways, I'm gonna learn how to. See, I think I got my my sense of rest to be at peace with myself. When I would play violin, I have to violin, dress a certain way. Full of cobwebs, by the way. I know, I'm not touching it right now. I didn't have to dress a certain way, I didn't have to act a certain way, I didn't have to speak to anybody. I um I did um I didn't have to attend I had to be in a certain building. You know, everyone does their thing to be at peace. They go to church, they dress up, they are doing this whether mine was by myself in my room playing violin, or even in the orchestra. So then I guess I would have to go to a place or whatever and look a certain way. Couldn't be, couldn't play violin naked. Except, well, okay. And, um, that was my form of <clears throat> escaping the demons in my head. Escaping the, the craziness of the world and how crazy and sad it is. And that was the way that I would boost my purpose, my hope, and my self-enjoyment for living life. You know, a lot of people, they forget to keep going or... So, I don't do that anymore. Why not? I don't know. It's a lot of different reasons. Um, this is the worst pizza. Oh, have you had the little flatbread? Where is the flatbread? Right here. Ah, ah. Oh, it's under here. Mm -hmm. It's gross because it's cold now. It's so gross now. I thought you liked cold pizza. I thought I did too. Mm hmm I, I, the cold, the cold pastas. I love cold uh, fire noodles. Oh, those are nice. <clears throat> you should play music again. <clears throat> I will one day. With or without, yeah. <laughs> I'm not going there. You might be. Um, mm -mm. I was just gonna say, you might be reading about me in the papers. <laughs> Don't say what for. About what? <laughs> You've been in the papers a few times. About playing my violin and inspiring the world. <laughs> I'm telling you, you're gonna be wherever you're, you're gonna be, and you're gonna be like, oh. I was with that man. Yeah. It's, it was a wild ride. Very wild ride. Can you believe we've been together for seven years? Oh, I believe it. Seven years. Mm -hmm. Seven years. Yes, with seven very long years. Especially the last three years. Seven years. The first few years flew by because we were actually happy, right? Mm -hmm. These last few have been dragging. They're just dragging their feet. Have I changed? Yes! <laughs> yes, you have. You have changed a lot. A lot. Well, you've changed. You've changed more than just physically, honey. The mental change has been very noticeable. Tell them what I used to be like before mukbangs. He was nice. He was kind. He was thoughtful. He thought before he spoke. He was polite. Very professional. 
He was athletic. <laughs> you think? He had energy. Oh, well, yeah, that's true. I, I used to run four miles a day, three miles a day. He wasn't promiscuous. You were like all about monogamy. Okay, that was at the very beginning when I was eating a low-fat diet and all my hormones. I couldn't even hold an erection, you guys. That's how bad it was. So that that was part of the issue there. I was, um, what's the word? Sibeli- celibacy. Celibate. I was celibate for like a year before I met Orlando. A year! Not a single dink or wink or anything. Nothing. <laughs> really? Yeah, I told you that, right? I, I'm not a single person, not even a kiss. It was because of the diet. All my hormones went away. And there's actually a lot of um, ex-vegans who came out like, oh, Elise Parker, she said she thought she was asexual. She was like, I thought I was asexual. And then I started eating like cholesterol again, which by the way, you need. All the vegans are like, you don't need cholesterol. Your body will make your own. Yeah. And you don't get stiff arteries and get prone to strokes. Google it. Vegans have 35% chance of getting stroke more than a meat eater because their arteries are so dang stiff. They started thinking about their favorite doctor. The vegan's favorite doctor. Oh yeah, looking like a corpse. Your arteries, <laughs> you need cholesterol. Not a lot of it, but you need some of it. And you can't depend on your body to make it because it might underproduce or overproduce. Anyway, yeah, she thought she was asexual. And there's a lot of men that become very feminine. Yeah, I think I became more feminine. Way more feminine eating so, that way. As a fruitarian, vegan. Person. Or especially when the fat is low. It messes up your hormones. Yeah. You can't even tell who's swinging which way when you go to those camps. Everyone looks so like, Wee. Anyways, so all I'm trying to say is, yeah, so I, I can't even like hold it up. I, because my body was lacking nutrients to even do it. Well, now you have enough nutrients. Oh, I know. Five times a day. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Um, okay, so you were saying. Thank you. <laughs> Well, you look real different to me. I walk like a penguin now. We both waddle around the park. And we're both walking. We're it's literally like the march of the penguins. Down it's here. march of the penguins <laughs> in this house. We waddle to and fro. Yeah. Literally, we waddle. Just the other day, when I, I was in the uh, computer room, and you're walking to the bathroom. I looked at you. I was like, I was like, you're waddling. Yep. How much do you weigh? You weighed yourself. Huh? Tell them. Two hundred seventy-three pounds. <laughs> Ready for operation. <laughs> yes! Ready for operation. And I weigh 290 something. Still, I'm still not 300. I told you so many times to get that lipo before we left Columbia. Oh, you refused. Well. I don't like needles. Like, I was, I was, re like, it was ready. I don't, I wouldn't have really needed it back then. Back then, 200 pounds, that was nothing. I looked pretty good compared to where you I was. You were like, not 200, you were 240. Oh, that's right. By the time we left, we were, I was 250. You look like a stuffed turkey. We're supposed to be nice in this video. Do you still love me? Yes. Mmm. Mmm. Do you love me? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love you. <sighs> My... Seven years. Seven years. Stop chewing. Finish. Let me eat. Well, I'm eat. hungry. You've had enough. I have not had enough. Don't do that. <laughs> Look at it. You love me. Yes. I have a big double chin. <laughs> I don't. It's big enough. Would you love me if I had a neck, a neck pull? I was gonna get that done for you. I know. I like. I had it all ready. I had the doctors. Like it was. It was ready. That would have been nice. <sighs> Seven years. Sometimes I feel like I'm in a dream. That's also my hypoglycemia. But even when I'm not having hypoglycemia, I feel like I'm in a dream a lot. I don't know if it's because I'm 28 now. I don't know if it's because my body's really unhealthy and I'm experiencing life in a different lens. I think so. I, I just feel like it's a dream. Very long dream. I thought about that today when I, I was picking this up from the store. 
how like I felt like I'm this ball of energy and my body is my vessel. <laughs> mm. You're definitely a ball of something. Let me you eat I hate hearing you eat. He's also gross to eat next to. Um have you seen all your breakdown where you're throwing food on the floor? I have. I had to edit them and no one's here watching me, so I prefer it that way. I just hate hearing people eat. That's why I hate ASMRs. They really gross me out. I've never liked ASMR. Ever. Mm. Ever. ASMR. I have an mm. ASMR channel. I post it like twice a year. I just hate it. Mm. And you know, I've made ASMRs. I've collabed with ASMR people. And I told them, I'm like, I freaking hate ASMR. It's so gross. But you know, I'll do it to be nice. Or you're my friend. Or you get clout off me or whatever. Vice versa. But, um, ew, ASMR. It's just, it's just, yeah. And there's so many people that like it, but they're all coming from a very, very particular part of the world. <clears throat> I'm friends with, two, well, I used I used to be friends with three ASMR people, now I'm friends with two ASMR people, and they all have the same de demographics. Their, the United States viewership is like 10%. Most, like mukbangers, it's like 80 to 90%. Or 70 my main channel is actually the biggest world, uh, international, I think it's like 8, uh, no, it's like 70. It's like 71%, um, USA. But that's that makes sense. The more people you have, the more likelihood it's diluted with people around the world. The bigger the channel, the more people around the world you're gonna have. But yeah, the ASMR people, it's just like a tiny little drop at, um, because the people who are really into that stuff are people who don't need to know English to enjoy it, you know what I mean? Like people from all over, Indonesia, Philippines, Malaysia, Thailand, Cambodia, Vietnam, Japan, uh, South Korea. I mean, all of those countries are really into that. And so it makes sense that most of their viewers are not from this country, uh, from America. And that, that was, um, a common thing I, I've seen firsthand with looking at all their stuff that we would show each other. Like, oh, here's my analytics. Look, I'd be like, here's my phone. Look, but I got one. So, what am I saying? Yeah, I just don't like ASMR. I just, I can't. I know people do, but. Seven years. You're like a broken record. I don't know. I'm just hoping you would pick up something from it so I don't have to repeat myself. Seven years of... Well, five years. No. How many years were we happy? Were you happy for... Oh, I cracked my neck looking at you that way. We're happy for like 40... <laughs> I think we're happy for four years. <laughs> Oh, then you had beyond neck. that beyond 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 evil me. Remember you had that. <laughs> my neck cracked. And that's when you started becoming promiscuous. And, well, you had a bad influence too. He's very easily oh. influenced. Have you told him that you're very easily influenced? No, I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not. Mm. No, I'm not. You hanged out with that group of friends, and you became promiscuous. A little bag of STDs, like you, you, you get influenced very easily. <laughs> well, that's why you want to trap me and keep me all to yourself in Colombia, where I couldn't speak the language or even get, leave. The... You still managed to. You still. Managed. No, I did not. I did not leave ever. I didn't know they would just come to our house. That's not true. You're lying. Uh huh. That's why you liked me in Colombia. How do we manage to bring in gonorrhea into our home? That's because I, <laughs> that's because I, I don't know where it came from. It just came, <laughs> I don't it know. just came in, in my dream. I, I'm the Virgin Mary, sleeping. it just happened, she, it just got planted it in got be, It got beamed into God you. God gave me the gonorrhea. It was Jesus. Like, like do you hear yourself? It could have been a saint. Somewhere. It could have been a saint for y'all, y'all you know. It could have been one of the saints and you're disrespecting them. They are listening. This is what I put up with for <laughs> seven years. <laughs> now, I actually don't know where it came from. It came from someone. Oh, you, oh, really? Where were you? A saint. It was a dream. Oh, okay. I woke up and boom, baby was baby was there. Baby was born. Did you enjoy seeing me get that uh, very nice physical? Why do you bring this up all, every time we collab? It was traumatic. Or than it's been like five The doctor years. was like a hundred years this old. This is why I need to leave you. He was you. like a hundred. This is why I need His to leave. His hand was shaking. Oh my God. And he was stop. peeling my thing open. 
He was shaking. This is why I need to leave him. Because he can't get over it. He was probably Catholic in Colombia. You Very can't conservative. get over anything. Get over it. You were leaking green uh, fluid. Shh, no one wants to hear. You've said this three times. It's getting old. Getting old. We all thought to get. No. Nope. <laughs> you smell like cheese, like mozzarella. But that's your natural smell. Yeah, you smell like mozzarella. Only on my balls. No, your whole body. No. Uh. -huh. Yeah, you're only if I eat a lot of cheese, I might smell like cheese. No, you smell, oh, like, the you smell only... like a block of cheese. <laughs> no, it's not true. You smell like a block, like a walking, living block of mozzarella. And you smell like... Like you, like mozzarella, because I'm touching you all the time. Oh my god. We both smell like mozzarella cheese. Well, I guess this video's over, because you're just gonna go into all these story times, so... Guys, oh, you want to go into story no. time? Oh, shut up. Just for once. If people are getting sick of it. I'm getting sick of it. Go talk to a therapist. Yes. You got blocked by your therapist. It was not my fault. Anyways. You're just so full of funny things right now. Uh, are you full? Uh, I think I'm 280 pounds now, so probably. Where's our scale? You can weigh yourself now. Man, Ready I for operation. Some, I wanted some of that nice oh. cheesy bread. I'm sure you. I don't have enough in here, and I wanted some of. The, I'm gonna have to eat. Oh. I guess I'll have this one, which will give me heartburn, which you know, but you don't care because you don't love me. It's your fault I have to eat the marinara to give me heartburn. So How if I I'm crying all night long, whose fault is it? It's yours. It's my fault. Everything is my Look, fault. Look, this was Orland's fault right here. Everything your is my fault. fault. Everything's my fault. That that uh, stain you have on your face is my fault. I did that. Also, the reason why I was anxiety all day. That rosacea, that's my fault. If you had a brain, you would have helped me avoid the situation. What rosacea? You're, you're, Orland, stop. Okay. You're always a nice. Do you have anything else to say? In red. Do you have anything else to say? What? When I asked you, do you still love me? And look at what you're talking about. Do you love me? Yes. Well, I don't, so it's over. Good. I can't live with someone that still keeps talking about an accident. I have been, how many times have you cheated on me? STD. How many times? It was an accident. How many times? How many times? Orlin, count them on your fingers. We already know. It's like 15. Mm -hmm. We already know. What, more? No. We... You can't stop living in the past. I cannot stand people who live in the past. You live in the past. You live in the past. It's been over and dealt with and you bring it up all the time. I don't want to live the rest of my life. I don't want to be, um, I don't want to be effing 40 years old and having Orland home next to me saying, Remember that one time you gave me a ring, huh? And the A's. Remember that one time you gave me a I don't want to be 50 years old trying to enjoy my life it's for hard. to hear Orland home talking from the other room Remember that time you skated on me? Times. See why you choose to live in the past. You are the result of your own med uh, your own misery, Mister Meditation. You think you know that, Mister Yogi? You mind you mold your own reality in your head. And if you're choosing, choosing to live like that, that's your own dang fault because everyone makes mistakes. I apologize. You accepted it. You even did things back to me to get even, and but you still bring it up. You still bring it up. Why? It feels like you sit on glass when you have a all the time. Why do you have to bring it up all the time? Why? Because every time I sit down, I remember you. What? You make no sense. You're not writing anybody. You're not sitting on anybody. You're not feeling nothing up there. I feel like sharp. He has not bought him for me. I don't for want to. For half a year. I don't want to. Half a year. But you bought them for you? Yeah, it looks great. 
you probably get a heart attack from just being a top. <laughs> I am sitting here out of breath. I'm like, <laughs> like, could you actually, could you actually do like missionary on someone without getting a heart attack? Oh, if I'm, if I'm the choo choo. Like, yeah, chugga, could, chugga, could chugga. you actually do it? No, I, I can't. Hold, it's hard to hold my body up in this chair right now. Like, do you think your your heart could withstand that type of activity? <sighs> I guess it's my fault too. Like, you need to stop bringing up the past and living in it. I got you an appointment if with a cardiologist, you and you didn't go. Don't want to be happy, then continue living in your past. But if you want to be happy. You need to stop. Leave you. Li yes, and stop living in So you can't just stop living in your past to save me. You'd rather leave me. Save you from what? From your craziness? From your altars? <sighs> Breathe in. I'm not trying to relax, I'm just heavy breathing. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. One, two, three. A release. Breathe, Breathe out your nose, not your mouth. I'm trying! <laughs>